Hello, and thank you for joining us for this presentation of the MSI Outlook integration. Now, in this demonstration, I want to show users how easy it is to save emails and their attachments directly into the Alfresco repository. For this demonstration, we happen to be using XP Outlook. You can, of course, use this with 2007 as well as 2010. The integration screens look the exact same. So, we're in our inbox. Let's go off and save some travel requests. We'll select as many emails as we want to process. You can do them one at a time or select them in bulk. Then I'll go off and click Save to Alfresco. When I do that, what it does is it prepares the emails to be saved. Really what the preparation is doing is analyzing the emails, checking on the attachments, as well as grabbing other pertinent information about the email. What pops up next, as you can see, is the Save to Alfresco screen. In the Save to Alfresco screen, here's where I'm able to assign the metadata to both the emails and the attachments. As you can see, here's an email and, of course, the appropriate attachments. All right. Now, you'll also notice they're all red. The reason they're red is they have not yet been saved into the repository. Had they already been saved, they would be green. Obviously, this allows you to avoid saving duplicate emails. Now, I'll go to my first one here, travel request form for Jack. I'm going to put this in a particular location, looking up the folder and site information. I'm going to do a lookup. This happens to be for administration, hence the reason for selecting and entering administration information. These are travel requests, so I'm going to put it under admin travel. Okay, and now for this particular email, I have got the approved information, at least regarding the folder structure. If I want, because these are all the same, right these are all travel requests instead of having to do it individually for each one i can just go to that first one where i signed it hit pin and it will apply the same information to all of them so now all of them are ready to go in the correct folder location okay now the next piece is of course the email attachments these attachments all need to be saved as well with their own metadata i go over here these are travel requests for this first one i select travel request from a status perspective I go off and say receive, waiting for processing. Now what's nice is this is also a travel request. All right, you see the different names. This one was for Ray and this one's for Jack, but the metadata is primarily the same. So instead of rekeying it, I can simply hit same as previous and it assigns that same information. I go down to, go down to Jason's request and then I go down to Adam's request. And once I've done all this, I've now assigned all the appropriate metadata to both the attachments and the emails. I click save, and now the information is automatically saved into the repository. We have the emails saved into the repository with their metadata, as well as the attachments saved into the, in the appropriate location with their metadata. Here's a quick look into Share, just showing you that in this particular site, you've got all of the documents that we saved, saved in their native format. In other words, you've got MSG file, it's the message file, as well as the actual Word document. So users are able to then retrieve these documents with the appropriate metadata.